First game after the All-Star break, and we are here in North Little Rock. The Rough Riders play the Arkansas Travelers, and we're joined by Zach Zineski, who hit a home run in the last game before the All-Star break. First of all, Zach, uh, how were your days off? I understand you went home. Yeah, they were great. It was uh, refreshing, and uh, it was good to see the family, and it was a lot of fun. How important is that, just get a couple of days off, clear the head, and take your mind off everything that has to do with baseball? Yeah, I mean, you know, if if it's not going so well or if it's going well, you know, it, either way it can mean a lot. It, you know, and you get into the to the dog days of summer now when it's get, starting to get really hot, and uh, you know, and a couple of days off can can refresh you, you know your body, but but also you know your mind a little bit where you can relax and and kind of get away from the game, and and uh, and you know when you come back you feel refreshed and and you feel ready to go. Some guys, the all-star break can have a negative effect. If you're hitting the ball really well, uh, you don't want those days off. You want to just keep in that groove. Well, uh, for you, you've been hitting the ball a little bit harder than you have uh, you know, previously over the first half of the season. Hit a home run on Sunday. That must be a nice way to go into that break, having that positive experience right behind you. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, uh, a couple games ago, I... I um I kind of felt something, you know, hit, swinging, and, and I've I felt feel a little more comfortable, and um, you know, I've just worked off that, and uh, you know, I'm just gonna stick with it and and try to have some fun and um, see what happens. Is it one small thing like that that you just find a comfort zone in your swing, and all of a sudden you can maybe carry that over? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I I think a lot of it is confidence too, and. And I feel like I have some confidence now, and then you know I feel like when I go up to the plate, you know more than anything, I'm having fun, and I'm and um, you know we we are just trying to win again. That that's a, that's a big part of it as well. You've always been a guy that's been able to hit. I mean, going back every year, that's been something that you've always been able to do. Has it been draining for you mentally these first three months, where it hasn't gone as well as you know it even did last year? Yeah, I mean, anytime you you know you're not doing well on anything, it's not as fun as if you are doing well. And you know, nobody likes to to do poorly. It's not it's not fun when you're doing bad. So um, you know, it, it it's a lot of fun when you're doing when you're playing the game, you know, and and playing it well. And and uh, that's what I'm trying to focus on getting back to. And and um, you know, hopefully finish uh, finish the second half strong. Here with Rough Riders catcher Zach Zineski. How tough is it to put that completely behind you when you know you are going through a struggle and not let that affect your catching game because that's so important uh, for the team and for the pitcher that you're catching. Yeah, well, uh, you know, there's you have to uh, separate the offensive side and the defensive side, and I've always been told that. And and you know, I I know when it affects my defense, and 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 that's not good either. You know, if uh, you know the the big thing is to put everything together and and hopefully the second half I can uh, I can have some fun and and do that. I bet it's fun when you're catching uh, pitchers like Neil Ramirez the other night when he just had absolutely everything working for him. I think like 67, 68 pitches to get through six innings. Uh, that must give you a lot of confidence when a pitcher is throwing the ball that well. No matter what sign you put down, you're going to get a pretty solid offering. Yeah, absolutely. I mean. Uh, you know, anytime you have a guy on the mound who's who's pitching pretty well, it's it's uh, it kind of boosts your confidence a little bit, and you know, you, it kind of gives you a little relief where you know you don't have to put up you know six or eight runs to win the game, and you know, it, and you you know, you simplify things a little bit. And and Neil pitched a heck of a game, and he didn't even really have his changeup going for him as well as he usually does. So we went to his slider a little more, but he's done well all year, and uh, he's just continuing to to improve. That same game and on Sunday, you also caught Joaquin Soria. Uh, I know those were outings were, were pretty brief, given that he didn't throw very many pitches and got every guy out that he faced. But was that fun catching a big leaguer? Oh yeah, I mean, any anytime you know you catch catch a big leaguer, it's fun. I, for, for the most part, so far that I, the experiences that I've had, you know, um, I mean, he you know he pounded the zone with strikes. Everything he threw, he threw for strikes, and 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 uh, you know it makes it easy for me back there. You know, one thing that I was wondering given the, the strange release point for a guy like Ben Rowan, who's since gone up to AAA, you always hear hitters say that it throws them off with the way his release point is so different than other pitchers. Does that throw you off at all as a catcher? Is it something that you have to get used to when it's a sidearm or a submariner? Yeah, I mean, um, it's it's definitely when you catch a new guy, it's it's new for, for you no matter what. So, you know, you, you, need to, you need to learn, you know, everything about that pitcher, you know, you know, first thing is catching all their pitches and what they throw, and and then what their out pitch is, and uh, you know their personality, and I mean, it, there there's more to it than just just what we see watching the game, and um, 
you know, absolutely. I had, a, you know, the first time I caught Rowan in the game, I was a little nervous calling certain pitches because, you know, I, I hadn't really caught him that, that much before. And, uh, you know, but once you get that comfort level there, it, it uh, you know, you, you get that confidence in it, and, it, and it's just like anybody else. So, you know, he always talked a lot about his rise ball. How much did that actually rise? Because it's tough for us to tell so high up. Yeah, it rises. It rises a lot. He doesn't really throw it. He doesn't really need to throw it, to be honest with you. And, uh, I mean, I remember one instance in one game where, where Jeff, the pitching coach, you know, told me just just throw fastballs, you know, because his fastball and when he keeps it down at the knees, it's it's you're going to get ground ball every time, and and uh, maybe it's a little dink base hit, but the majority of the times it's going to be a ground ball at somebody, and you know, so he, you know, more simplifying things for him, I think, is is better, and and the quicker he gets the guys out is better. You know, against guys like that, the longer the guys face them, the, the more comfortable they become. So, you know, getting guys out quick for him is a big thing. Are you looking forward to catching Pesetis' knuckleball in a game? Yeah, absolutely. We were talking about that today in a bullpen, and uh, he threw some, and and they were they were pretty good, and I, I was doing okay with it. But uh, you know, hey, a- anyway, I can uh, I can get a chance. I'm I'm w- willing to do it. Had you ever caught a knuckleball before Pesetis? No, for, he's the first one, so. I'm excited. I'm looking forward to seeing it. Talise held his own the other night, so looking forward to seeing, seeing you do it as well. Z, congratulations on the home run the other day, uh, and happy early birthday. It's uh, coming right around the corner. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate that. At Zach Zineski, we're back right after this here on the Frisco Rough Riders Baseball Network.